Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of me creating Wimborn. So I did some research and pretty much came up with nothing when it came to those um, linden trees by Cricket, actually, is who they are, who they are from. So I will show you these guys here. They cast this really weird shadow underneath them that I just can't get over, unfortunately. I really don't like it. And so as much as I want to add those, I am just going to leave them out. I also downloaded these pines. They're by Gwenke. And these also leave a really weird box underneath them that I don't like. So I'm not going to use any other tree clump or anything like that besides these guys. I did post on my Tumblr earlier, earlier today asking people if they knew of any reason why that would be happening. And so I'm just going to be waiting for an answer and hopefully I get one because then in that case I can go ahead and fix what I need to fix. But yeah, I can add these mountain these other mountainous ones that I have that I downloaded earlier this morning, like these ones. Um, I like them in that bright green because it just gives more visual interest, actually. So I can just replace these darker ones. Ooh, sorry. That I placed in the last episode. And obviously, because they give out those weird black shadows i'm just gonna place them sparingly within the heavier clumps of these other pines another thing i said in these in the first video of this series was i wanted a waterfall i tried looking for a lake like a hood deco lake and I didn't come up with anything, unfortunately. The only thing I do have is this pond. But this pond is far too small and it like clips, unfortunately. But yeah, this pond is way too small for a whole waterfall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. I'm going to keep the cliffs in place. The way these cliffs look from lot view is pretty insane. It's like gorgeous, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so something I did notice that I did not like was these are on the sand, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm just going to move these a little ways off the sand. So I did take a look at these trees from lot view, and I don't like the fact they're really low poly. I mean, not really low, like they could be worse. I want to know why these random, why the shadow is there. Okay, now it's gone. Weird. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Okay, so I'm going to fix this little area up because as you can see, we have a couple of the trees clipping or not clipping. I keep saying that, but kind of just floating in air. <laughs> And that's not very realistic. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm honestly thinking of just like deleting all these trees here and adding in cliffs and then selectively placing the trees, at least in this part here, because this is the more mountainous area. But anyway, what I said in the first episode with the waterfall, because I really want a waterfall, is I can do some terrain work here. So what I can do, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these trees. Okay, so I'm thinking I will take this area and I'll raise it. So So I did a little bit of research and I discovered that if you raise or do any sort of terrain work by the edge of a map, it will cause the game to crash. I'm not sure why, but I decided that I would just take this part 
and turn it into just make it a, raise it a little bit I did start doing a bit of that work around here as you can see and yeah I don't know why it does that but I'm just gonna raise it a little bit more and I want to raise it enough to where so what I'm gonna do I wish you could do like diagonal and I don't know why it like grabs trees every time <laughs> I go to like raise it but okay okay I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't you know what maybe what we can do actually because this part does look a little wonky let's just smooth that out this looks okay it curves fine I think it worked I'm not sure but anyway let's go ahead and turn off modify terrain before my computer blows up and <laughs> we're gonna get rid of some of these trees I okay so what we're gonna do is basically the same thing on both sides oh this is like a whole ass ridge we can throw cliffs there that's fine um, basically on both sides I'm gonna do work where I just delete a crap load of the trees that I through on there luckily trees aren't very difficult to place they're a lot more difficult to remove which once again I will say it I will say what I mentioned which is I wish there was a mod out there that allowed you to bulk delete neighborhood deco and I'm sure modders like in the past couple of years have tried you know like sims 2 modders I'm sure they've attempted something and they just couldn't get it to work because I feel like Sims 2 is a hard game to mod for but anyway okay so hopefully we can get something to work this may not be this may not be tall enough for a waterfall because um, I feel like it just slopes a little too easily but let's see if we could throw in some cliffs and maybe that'll work I don't know we'll see but okay so here we have a cliff these are great cliffs for hoods that are very mountainous and also just like like if you're building Ireland or like Scotland or something like that I mean I don't know what Scottish landscape looks like I've never been to Scotland but like cliffs in in Ireland for example um this would be really nice a really nice addition to like if you're creating the cliffs of moor or something you know um this would be a great addition to making that happen. I'm waiting for the waterfall to show up so that I can see how I can make this happen. I'm thinking maybe I'll add more cliffs here. Something like this, perhaps. Um, I do like the little patches of, of grass. I think that is super cute. So if we just... Okay, there's the waterfall coming through, finally. Um, I feel like all these cliffs like this would look, or look weird, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, so the problem with the cliffs is that they are too, it's too much at a slant. That's the issue. Because you can't see the waterfall now. It needs to be like much, much higher up, you know. So I'm wondering, hold on, let's, let's do modify terrain again. Let's just put down, okay, so what I'm thinking, it's a lot of cliffs. Wow. Is that too much you think I feel like that is a little too much anyway what I have planned is let's see if this works I'm thinking what if I
raised this. Let's, can we backspace and get rid of all these cliffs? Will that work? Let's throw this waterfall here. And then let's get rid of this. And then we can raise this as well to match with the rest of the mountainous area. Let's just throw in cliffs where we have all this like weird like terrain. Um, what I'm going to do is throw the waterfall in where you can actually see it flowing. <laughs> so we have some, let's say I want to put one here and I want to put one here and then I want to bounce here, here, and here. And then waterfall splash, I'm guessing is like here. Is Where is this supposed to be? At the bottom, right? Okay, so that's the first one. I'm not sure how many of these I should put in, but... Um, okay, so that's the first one. There, we have more coming in. And I'll just keep throwing them in here. I'm not worried about the rocks because I'm going to be covering them with cliffs anyway. I just want this to be a substantial waterfall. Okay, so that's kind of, this is a little too much, I think. However, we will have cliffs in place. And I don't want to touch anything until I know that it works. Oh, this creates a little rainbow. Okay, let's just have that one there then. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, let's keep adding these waterfalls up here. And then I will add cliffs. So, yeah, see, it goes through the cliff. So that's what I mean by like, this doesn't go all the way in though. Do you see what I mean? I feel like maybe this works. Um, I would love it if there was like some kind of water, you know what I mean? That would make the most sense. But unfortunately, there isn't um and yeah i realize that doesn't make any sense at all but like i was thinking let's add a stream but the stream is so long it would run through the whole neighborhood i think let's put one in that corner yeah do you see what i mean like this is freaking wild i don't know how this is gonna work Let's just let it do its thing for now. The one thing you can always do in your hoods is try, right? There's no harm in trying. That seems to be working actually, <laughs> crazy enough. Looks really funky though, but. That looks really unusual. And it's going like into, it's going into the river like this. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Never mind. Okay, let's just keep placing these cliffs down. May not be perfect, but that's okay. Okay, so we have that region done. I'm going to go ahead and delete a bunch of these trees and redo them. Um, I'm just going to delete the ones that are like really viewable from lots because um, I'm not like these are probably like floating in midair, but 
I'm not too precious about it. Like, that looks great, you know? I would like more, to be honest. But this looks fine there, honestly. Like, this right here looks like Iceland to me. It reminds me of Iceland. At least the part of Iceland I've, I've been to, so... <laughs> which is around the Reykjavik area, so. Anyway, okay, so trees are good. I want to, or in this area anyway, I want to add more clumps, but I don't want them to, um, let's go ahead and fix this area up. Okay, so we're going to delete this because this is like right on like a... These are all floating, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this. And all of this back here, again, doesn't even matter to me because you're not going to be able to see that from lot view, all of this back here. Um, so that really doesn't bother me. From this house, we see all these trees those all the way down yonder are absolutely floating but we can just pretend they are treetops and call it a day but yeah i mean it looks pretty good to me so i think i'm done right now with trees and cliffs i definitely want to add those linden trees and maybe some birch trees i feel like i have hood deco birch trees you know different trees like that i just don't know if they have like along the edge of the forest would be nice but i just don't know if those have shadows so i'm just gonna leave those there and we'll see if those get the black box hopefully they don't but okay, so we're done with that. Now we are going to focus on our hood. And I do want to add some trees here, but I want to get the hood deco, like fencing and things like that down first. So, so yeah, one thing I wanted to do was change this. So I wanted this area to be like a little strip where this doesn't match. So I don't know if I want that anymore. I wanted it to be a little strip where your Sims could like, because next to next door, this is going to be, these are retail, retail, retail shops. This is a bakery and then this is a bookstore and then this is a cafe. And so I could imagine them going to the bakery or the cafe and then walking a little bit down the sidewalk and just sitting here. And although it is deco, um, I really like creating. So obviously, like, it's not... This looks better. It's not going to be, like, something that is usable, you know? Like, your sims aren't going to be able to actually go and sit there, unfortunately. That would be freaking fantastic i'm dreaming of the day the sims team returns to the sims 2 and upgrades it and releases it again but obviously we all know that's never going to happen it'd be great if it did but let's not hope or let's not like you know <laughs> yeah what was i saying but i'm just imagining that it would be a place where sims go and just have a bite to eat and just stop there and chill and like yeah that kind of stuff is really important to me when it comes to hood decorating or like hood um hood work in general i like making my hood as immersive as possible you know um okay so i pictured this isn't on a slope. Simple walkway with bench. Simple walkway with light pole. Sloped right, sloped left. Simple walkway with fence. Okay, so let's just do this one. And I'm using this one because... Let's do the light instead. Um, I'm using this walkway instead of the other one that I had, that I had here because this matches the 
sidewalks by Curious Bee better than Cricket's other sidewalk thing. Okay, so I was imagining, right, this would be a park, and this would be the town hall, and these would all be community lots. I was imagining, like, walkways going in between all of these, because in New England, if you're from New England, especially if you're in, like, a, I don't want to say a small town, but, like, kind of a small town, but kind of, like, that really nice... Think of Salem. What would Salem, Massachusetts be considered? Or like Burlington, Vermont. I mean, yeah, like Burlington, Vermont. Think of Burlington, Vermont. Think of Salem. You know, when you're like in the downtown area of those places, all of the streets have little walkways going in between the streets and in between the shops. And that's what adds to the charm. That's why I love New England. But yeah, so now if we go in, it's not done, obviously, but if we go in to where the town hall will be, we will see these sidewalks here. And they are kind of floating, which is weird looking. Why are they floating like that? Now, this is too gray looking now. I don't know. I'm not into that. Okay, something I'm finding really weird is that these walkways are floating. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're like rays. I don't know if that's going to work. Hold on. I don't think that's going to work. What a shame, though. Yeah, it's totally cutting off all of the chairs. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? <laughs> Can someone just give me a simple walkway set that isn't... Like, this could potentially work, but I just don't like it. Um, oh, I'm not a fan of that. I really love this one. I think it's so nice. And also this with the light posts. I mean, you could always add your own light posts, you know. It is what it is. But it just looks better and it's, like, easier to place. Um, okay. So that could work. What a shame that that other one was too... Originally, actually, I wanted something like this. This is for a tram, so this would not work. But I really love the idea of red brick. That was what I wanted originally because that's very common in New England where you have red cobblestone. And I was thinking of using this, but I don't like the way it looks. I'm just not a fan of it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of that. This one I really like. That other one is too bright or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if I could get something like this that is not for trams and is like a sidewalk or walkway set, that would be absolutely spectacular. I did my research and I couldn't find anything. So, oh well. But man, I love this one. What a shame that it doesn't work. But... Again, the gray just doesn't match. <laughs> it would match it from lot view. Okay, so let's go with that again. I'm not even going to bother fixing the fountain. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Whatever. Maybe later. Um, and then if we were to... See, I wish we had a longer version of this. I wish someone could make a red cobblestone version of this... If anyone knows of any, please let me know. That would be fantastic. I'm thinking if I were to just build the buildings, right, and throw in more of these walkways, if maybe then, with all the buildings and everything in there, if it'll look better. So I'm just going to keep using these, and I'm going to continue to look for red cobblestone, crossing my fingers, and we'll see what we what we think, okay? So... I think I'm just going to end this video here. 
luckily most of the trees and cliffs are done so we don't have to focus on that in the next video but in the next video I'll probably continue doing some more hood deco like this and some signage and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this content go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more and I will see you in the next one